What's good, y'all? You know, yesterday something really cool happened. You know, and it really just goes to show that I truly do practice what I preach. You know, I was on the uh, those pull-up bars and I was doing those muscle-ups. You know, I finally got to do them. They're still sloppy, they're still ugly, but nevertheless, I'm doing them. And it took me a long time to get there, but what I quickly realized is after I did that first one, it was just mental limitation that was stopping me. I've been had the physical strength for it. It's just that the mental strength wasn't there. I still had limitations in my mind that I was still feeding. I still have blockages in my mind. So when I was doing them, I hopped down off the bar, and then there was like an older couple that saw what I was doing. And they were like, wow, you're really strong. You're so strong. You're so strong. And that struck a very positive chord with me. Because that's like one of the affirmations I repeatedly tell myself all the time. I am strong. I am powerful. I am the man that I want to be. I am a king. I am a god. All these different things. There's a plethora of ones that I use. But that one specifically really resonated with me. Why? Because you have to remember that everything that you hold true in your mind, everything that you truly believe, every, all these thought forms that you are feeding have no choice but to materialize in the physical reality. Those people would have never said that to me if I had never been feeding that energy. See, a lot of people are feeding the opposite. A lot of people are saying, oh, I'm weak. Oh, I'm poor. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm never going to make it. Oh, I... See, you're feeding a negative thought forms. And y'all need to understand the power of these thought forms. You know, thought forms. You know, thought forms. A subject and a predicate. Two words is a full sentence. A full, complete sentence. And it's also a, a noun. It's a, literally a thing. Okay? You know, when you have these thought forms, your thought forms can form in the form of an event in your life or a person that comes in your life or anything in between that. You know, the things that you feed, the things that you keep on feeding your energy are what is going to be attracted to you. Like attracts like. So if you keep feeding that energy, that, that's just a message to the universe saying, okay, give him more of that. You know, a couple of years ago, you know, I had never been greeted with peace, king, peace, God. That didn't, that didn't exist in my world. But now that I, I bravely made that leap and just started calling myself a God, calling myself a king, calling myself, you know, using the affirmation, I am the man that I want to be. You know, people are gravitating towards me and people greet me as such. Peace, king. Peace, God. Now, I understand that's how things work in the spiritual community, but y'all still y'all still looking at the physical. You know, two years ago, I wasn't calling myself a king. Two years ago, I wasn't calling myself a God. Now that I've completely embraced that energy, now that I'm resonating at that frequency, that's what my physical reality is representing to me. You know, it's like two years ago, I was telling myself I couldn't do a muscle up. A muscle up is hard. That's me feeding energy to a negative thought form. That's me feeding energy to a, the, the dam, like the, the beaver dam in my mind, the blockages that were blocking my manifestations to coming into my life. And when I, when I told you, I hyped myself up, you know, the whole drive there, I just saw myself on top of the bar. There was no more limitation no more. There was only room for success. And when I got to that bar, I yanked myself on top of it and failed the first time. I failed, right? But then when I tried it again, I was like, nah, I, I, I hyped myself way too much. I'm way too powerful right now. I'm way too strong. These are the things I was telling myself in the face of defeat. And I said, nah, I don't accept defeat. I don't give defeat any energy. So what did I do? It's like I tried again with that same energy. I said, like, nah, there is no failure in my world. There's none of this. I got this. I'm doing this. I've already done it. Yanked myself on top of that bar and I just gave it my all and pushed. And I was on top. When I completed that the second day, what I believed in my mind was reflected to me in my physical world. Wow, you're so strong. Hmm, that almost sounds like what I was telling myself. You see... When you start changing your, your interpretation of yourself, when you change the image that you have of yourself in your own mind, your physical reality will reflect that. Yes, at first, there's a little bit of a lag sometimes because what you need to understand is just because you said it one time, it's all about your belief. How true is it to you? That's why I say at, at some point, you have to start walking the walk. You have to start living in the end. You have to start acting like whatever it is that you're trying to manifest in your own world. You want to be strong? Well, start acting like it right now. Even if you feel like you're pretending right now, make it, you have to, you have to practice being strong. You have to practice being rich. You have to start changing your mindset because when you change your mindset, that's changing your frequency. And that's the energy that you're sending out to the universe. When you are sending that, that energy of, I'm strong. I am strong. That's like a, like a weak radio signal. 
right? You try to listen to a rap station or something, you can hear the beat, but just it keeps on getting staticky. There's interference. That interference is your doubt. That's a that's you feeding a negative thought form. It's getting in the way of your manifestation, right? But when you get rid of that and you just start to speak with authority and say, you know what? I am strong. I am powerful. I am the man that I want to be. I am the woman that I want to be. I'm a queen. I'm a goddess. I'm an empress. You know what I'm saying? And you start to walk around with that energy. At first, you kind of you starting to get used to it. It's kind of like putting on a new shirt. You have to put it on and then you have to you have to pose in it. You have to you have to make it feel good. And then it becomes yours. How often do you put on your favorite shirt and you still have to try it on? It's your favorite shirt. It's yours. You know how it works. So you have to put it on and own it. Y'all have to own whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. When I, when I put in that strength program in my mind, you can be programmed with negative thought forms or positive thought forms. Y'all have to know the difference. You know, I know I was about to go somewhere else, but let's talk about thought forms real quick. You know, thought forms, that's a sentence. That's a subject and a predicate. Uh, a subject and a predicate. Thought forms and it's also a noun okay now what type of thought forms do you have positive or negative the easiest way to tell which ones that you are bringing into your life the ones that you are attracting based off of your frequency are there a whole bunch of good things happening in your life or a whole bunch of bad ones that's the easiest way to tell so when I stop stop feeding the negative thought forms, aka oh muscle ups are hard, muscle ups are difficult, and I started only feeding success, only feeding power, only feeding strength, I did it. And then when I got rid of all those blockages, all those limitations, guess what happened in my physical reality? That old couple, you know, without me asking, without me looking for attention, came into my world and told me, "You are strong." People tell me that you are strong. Peace, King peace God that wasn't happening years ago see y'all don't understand that oh you who do you think you are calling yourself a God I am that I am y'all read that right so I, de I determine who I am I am whatever I say I am you know it's like that's why I'm so powerful that's why people listen to me because I am authentic I am real I keep it 100 because I have no reason to lie to you I have no reason to you know what I'm saying? People think I'm trying... I've, I know there's some people because there's always that one or two dislikes here and there on the videos. When I'm being a positive person, well, when you see my opposite, positivity brings the quote, quote, likes. It brings the like-minded individuals. But who's going to be on the opposite end of that spectrum? That negativity. You know, on the message of positivity, you're going to leave a dislike. That says something about you. You know what I'm saying? That's just the world we live in. But nevertheless, get rid of your own mental blocks and let the flow of manifestation come into your life. If you've been trying to manifest something, that means that there's a block there. That means you're still feeding some type of negative thought form that's causing that interference. It's causing that, that mental dam that's building up all that water behind you. It's just building up and building up and building up. But all you got to do is get rid of that one blockage. And then that flow of manifestation will come into your world every single time. Till the next one.